Hello students, guess how? How are you all? Fine? And uh, I really w uh, wish you welcome to GS Academy. And in my today's lecture, I'm gonna let you know about that why this cupric oxide is uh, basic in nature, and while this carbonic oxide, we used to call it as carbon dioxide, is acidic in nature. So I would like to uh, make you explain in this way that when you add cupric oxide in water, you get something like copper hydroxide, right? So you just really come to know about this phenomena when you add this thing, this salt in water. Then you come to know about this thing that it's been converted into copper hydroxide. What, what I'm wondering next is, when you add carbonic oxide or carbon dioxide in water, you turn that thing into something like carbonic acid. Now, what does it mean? That this thing is a base because according to Arrhenius, it contains some hydroxyl inside it. And this thing is, is something like acid because it contains some protons inside it or you can just call it as protons or you can something go for this thing as uh, hydrogen ions what I'm trying to explain you over here that these both are oxides but when they are added in water they turn on their cells as something like base and acid so here comes the big question Whenever you add these two things in water, you get base and acid. Then why are they are behaving differently? That's a very big question. So what got, what I have got the idea is, is something like this copper is metal, right? And this carbon is non-metal. So uh, what idea can I depict over, uh, depict to you over here is this? that when metallic oxide is being added in water, it gives you a base. While if you add a non-metallic oxide in water, it will give you a acid, right? So in the same way, you can just go for some more. So zinc, whenever added with something like water, it gives you something like zinc hydroxide, as zinc is a good metal. And if you just think with more, some nitrous oxides, when added with, added with water, they will give you something like nitric acid or nitrous acid. So same case, because nitrogen is a non-metal over here and zinc is a metal over here. So I think the, the query, the problem is solved. If you want to say that why copper oxide is basic, because it gives you a hydroxy compound. And this thing... Uh, carbon dioxide is acidic, it's just it gives you a compound which contains protons or something like hydrogen ions. So what I wonder around here is something that according to Levoyer, a really great scientist in the previous history, he depicts this, that whenever a binary compound of oxygen, a binary compound of oxygen added in water, it can give you a acid or a base. So it's quite prehistoric thinking. But today we come to know that either it's a basic, it's an acidic, it depends upon the products they produce. And how we can get the hint is just something, if we, if we just guess this, that this thing is a non-metal, then definitely the next product is acid. And if this thing is a metal, then the very next product is base. So guys, I hope you're getting something out of this. And uh, you can just share it with your friends to depict this idea. So thank you so much for this time.